Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Defined Benefit Pension Plans, Project Benefit Obligation. That is usually the uh, method that we use on Defined Benefit Pension Plans. What is Defined Benefit Pension Plans? Promise Fixed Retirement Benefits Defined by a Pension Formula. A certain inherent in a Define a benefit plan, rate of return on plan assets, number of employees eligible, aid at which employees will choose to retire, life expectancy of the retirees, how long will I need to pay them, inflation, future compensa compensation levels, and interest rates. And here we need another professional to help us, that is the actuary, a professional trained in a particular bank of statistics and math, hired by the firm to assess the various uncertainties and to estimate the company's obligation to employees in connection with its pension plan. So it is this actuary that will be working in age at, uh, at which employee will choose to retire, especially life expectancies and uh, interest rates and so on, okay? And here we have, uh, and by the way, we have also a different pension plan called Defined Contribution. We have a video about that, and the video is in our video description. And subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. So we have here pension gain and losses because we have the pension obligation and we have the return on plan Asset. So we compare obligation and plan assets, and we can have gain or losses. Okay? And here, key elements of defined benefit pension plan employers' obligation to pay retirement benefits in the future. That is our topic today. We will uh, go through the math to find the employer's obligation. Plan assets and periodic expenses. We also have a video about that, guys. So here, pension expense, it is not our topic today. We have a video specifically about pension expense, but we have here usually service costs, interest accruing pension liability, less return on the plan asset, and some amorti amortization as well. Okay, and what do we have here? We will be working with projected benefit obligation. That we add present value of vested benefits at present pay level, present value of non-vested benefits, and present value of additional benefits related to project pay increases. So we will be working with the greatest model. And let's, this is our Example here, Cristiano Ronaldo, I am sure you know him. I was hired by Skype Incorporation, my fake company, at the beginning of, of 2010. The company has a defined pension plan that specifies annual retirement benefits equals to 1.5% times service year times final year's salary. So if Cristiano Ronaldo works for our company for 40 years, and his retirement benefit will be 1.5% times 40 years times final year's salary. Ronaldo is expected to retire in, in 2049 after 40 years of service. Retirement period is expected to be 20 years. So his life expectancy is 20 year, years after, after retirement. At the end of 2019, 10 years after being hired, higher, his salary is $100,000. Interest rate, 6%. Company actually projects Ronaldo's salary to pay for $400,000 at retirement. What is the company project benefit obligation with respect to Cristiano Ronaldo? We have three steps, but first of all, let's add our data in our Excel file. Our Excel files, they are free to download it. And the 
Link to download it is in our video description. So today, we will be working with this first scenario here. How to find the uh, pension plan obligation. So what do we have here? Retirement period, 20 years. 20 years. Salary, today, $100,000. Interest rate, 6%. Salary at retirement, $400,000. Expect to retire in 40 years. He already worked 10, so we have remaining 30 years. So we have three steps here. Number one, use, use the pension formula to determine the required retirement benefits earned to date. So step one, pension formula. So what is this pension formula here? Uh, pension formula is, so what do we need here? Salary at retirement and the time. So that is our pension formula. 1.5% times final year's salary or times service years. How long have 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 he been working here? 10 years, 40 less 30 times final year's salary, $60,000. And second step, whoops, find the present value of the retirement benefits as of the retirement date, end of 2040. Uh, Nine. So, what, what do we have here? This is our step one here. We will pay him 20 years. So, how much is the present value at 2049? So, this is our second step. So, here, our second step. Present value of the retirement benefit as of the retirement date. End of 2049, end of 2019. So what do we have here? So how much we will pay him? How much we will pay him here? $60,000 per year. So let's do it here. Let's go to our formulas. It's easier for you to realize it. Oh, we have it. So delete it. All. Let's find the present value formula. Present value formula. Rate. 6%. Number of period. How long is, is his life expectancy? Many years. PMT, how much we will pay him per year? $60,000. Negative $60,000. And the first payment will be one year after his retirement. So $680,88. So this is the present value of the retirement benefits. $688. However, we we are not so this 688 is the 688 here in 2049 however we are here end of 2019 so how much is this future value today in 2019 so we have another present value formula so let's go to the most recently used. PV is the first one. Rate, the same 6%. How, how much is the number of periods? Years to retire, 30 years. Why 30 years? We have 30 years. That is this period here. So from today until the end, until when he is planning to 
retired. PMG, no PMG, we have a lump sum that is this 688 as the future value. 688 here. 119, this is our uh, pension plan obligation at the end of 2019. So one year has gone. What changes here? Year should retire 29 instead of 30. So we have one more year working. So 1.5 times $46,000. That is how much he has now. So 66. So the present value will also change. 757. And Sorry, the present value of retirement benefits will be one year lower, so 29. So we have increased on the present value of the retirement benefits and also one less year for retirement. So we have here one less year for present value. So we have a greater present value. And the pension plan expense, it is the difference. 19890. But this is not topic for our video today. We have a video about pension plan expense. Okay. And changing scenarios here. We also have videos about that. So we have a bunch of videos of defined uh defined contribution pension plan. Okay, guys. So this is how we find our pension plan obligation uh, on uh, defined benefit pension plan, project the defined obligation. So guys, thank you so much. Please like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpin. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.